Hello, my dear students. We are meeting after a long time. We are going to discuss MOS wire spectroscopy in this video. First of all, introduction of MOS wire spectroscopy. A new technique of spectroscopy has been developed by Rudolf Moss wire in 1958. It is known as Moss wire spectroscopy. It is related to transitions between the nuclear energy levels of atoms. When an element is formed by the nuclear disintegration of radioactive isotope of the same element or other element, its nucleus is generally in the excited state and it has a short life period. Please note that when an element is formed by the nuclear disintegration of radioactive isotope of the same element or other elements, its nucleus is generally in the excited state and it has a short life period. The excited nucleus formed in this way comes back to the ground state by emitting excess energy in the form of gamma rays. The excited nucleus formed in this way comes back to the ground state by emitting the excess energy in the form of gamma rays. Let us illustrate it taking a common example. Uranium-238 nucleus is radioactive. It emits an alpha particle forming thorium-234 nucleus. This nucleus is in the excited state. It emits the excess energy in the form of gamma ray and comes to the ground state. Here, thorium-234 asterisk is the excited nucleus and thorium-234 without asterisk is ground state nucleus. Please note that the notation asterisk is used for the excited nucleus. These happenings can be represented diagrammatically as follows. This is uranium-238 nucleus. It is radioactive. It emits an alpha particle forming the nucleus of uranium-234, which is in the excited state. It has energy greater than the ground state. It emits the excess energy in the form of gamma ray forming the thorium-234 nucleus with minimum energy and it is the ground state nucleus. It is excited state nucleus. The MOS wire spectroscopy is the study of emission of gamma rays by the excited nucleus and its subsequent absorption by other ground state isomeric nucleus. The MOS wire spectroscopy is the study of emission of gamma rays by the excited nucleus and its subsequent absorption by the other ground state nucleus to the excited state. The nuclei having the same atomic number and the same mass number but different amounts of energies associated with them are called nuclear isomers. What are nuclear isomers? The nuclei having the same atomic number and the same mass number but different amounts of energies associated with them are called nuclear isomers. Let us see an example. Thorium-234 asterisk, it is excited state nucleus, 
इट हैज़ हायर एनर्जी थोरियम टू थर्टी फोर ग्राउंड स्टेट न्यूक्लियस इट हैज लोअर एनर्जी नोट दैट बोथ द न्यूक्लियाई हैव सेम अटोमिक नंबर एंड सेम मास नंबर टू थर्टी फोर बट डिफरेंट अमाउंट्स ऑफ एनर्जीज आर एसोसिएटेड विद दैम इट हैज़ हायर एनर्जी वाइल दिस वन हैज लोअर एनर्जी एंड देयर फोर दीज आर न्यूक्लियर आइसोमर्स बेसिक प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मॉसवायर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी लेटस एक्सप्लेन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मॉसवायर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी टेकिंग एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एफ ई फिफ्टी सेवन न्यूक्लियस लेटस एक्सप्लेन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मॉसवायर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी टेकिंग एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एफ ई फिफ्टी सेवन न्यूक्लियस कोवाल्ट फिफ्टी सेवन इज ए रिलेटिवली लॉन्ग लिव्ड स्पेसिज विथ हाफ लाइफ टू सेवेंटी डेज इट इज ए रेडियो एक्टिव स्पेसिज इट्स हाफ लाइफ पीरियड इज टू सेवेंटी डेज एंड इट इज ए कॉन्वेनियंट सोर्स ऑफ एफ ई फिफ्टी सेवन इट मीन्स दिस कोवाल फिफ्टी सेवन न्यूक्लियस कैन ईजिली बी ट्रांसफॉर्मड इन टू एफ ई फिफ्टी सेवन न्यूक्लियस द कोवाल फिफ्टी सेवन आइसोटोप अंडरगोज के सेल इलेक्ट्रोन कैप्चर विच इज एब्रिविएटेड एज के ई सी forming the excited nucleus of fe57 with energy 136.4 kilo electron volt it is called 57 nucleus this electron from the k cell that is innermost cell is captured by the nucleus forming एफ ई फिफ्टी सेवन न्यूक्लियस विच इज इन एक्साइटेड स्टेट हैविंग एनर्जी वन थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट फोर किलो इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट प्लीज नोट दैट इट इज ए न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन विच इज बैलेंस्ड विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू चार्ज एज वेल एज विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू मास नंबर ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड द चार्ज इज ट्वेंटी सेवन माइनस वन इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स and on the right hand side the charge is also 26 on the left hand side mass number is 57 plus 0 that is 57 and on the right hand side the mass number is also 57 and hence this nuclear reaction is balanced with respect to charge as well as mass number the excited fe57 nucleus with energy 136.4 kilo electron volt formed in this way has a half life of 10 to the power minus 10 second fe57 nucleus formed in this way has energy 136.4 kilo electron volt it is in the excited state and its half life is about 10 to the power minus 8 second it undergoes transition in two ways partly to the ground state and partly to the 14.4 kilo electron volt energy level by emitting gamma ray this excited nucleus undergoes transition to lower energy level in two ways first of all it undergoes transition to the ground state directly by emitting gamma ray or it undergoes transition to 14.4 kilo electron volt energy level by emitting another gamma ray this is fe57 nucleus with energy 136.4 kilo electron volt it emits the same amount of energy in the form of gamma ray and returns back to the ground state it is excited state it is ground state directly in another way fe57 nucleus first of all transforms into another excited nucleus both are excited having lower energy and the amount of energy 122 kilo electron volt is emitted in the form of gamma ray please note that this energy is the 
difference between 136.4 kilo electron volt and 14.4 kilo electron volt. The energy difference between the excited nucleus and another excited nucleus is equal to 122 kilo electron volt, which is emitted in the form of gamma ray. The excited Fe57 nucleus with energy 14.4 kilo electron volt has a half life equal to about 10 to the power minus 7 second. Energy 14.4 kilo electron volt and half life about 10 to the power minus 7 second. It drops to the ground state Fe57 nucleus again by emitting gamma ray with energy. 14.4 kilo electron volt and frequency 3.5 into 10 to the power 18 per second. This is excited nucleus. Its energy is 14.4 kilo electron volt. It emits excess energy that is this amount of energy in the form of gamma radiation and comes to the ground state. Let us illustrate these happenings for clear understanding, for clear understanding diagrammatically. Diagrammatic representation. This is cobalt 57 nucleus with half-life 270 days. It undergoes K cell electron capture process with an efficiency of 99.84% forming Fe57 nucleus with energy 136.4 kilo electron volt and its half life is 8.6 into 10 to the power minus 9 second. This excited Fe57 nucleus comes to lower energy level in two ways. In first way, in first way, it returns to the ground state directly by emitting gamma radiation. In another way, this Fe57 nucleus with energy 136.4 kilo electron volt comes to another excited nuclear energy level with lower energy 14.4 kilo electron volt and longer half life 9.8 into 10 to the power minus 8 second. In this process, gamma radiation is emitted and its efficiency is 85 percent. The excited Fe57 nucleus with energy 14.4 kilo electron volt emits another gamma radiation and comes to the ground state. Please note that on the left hand side of the figure nuclear spins have been represented. The excited nucleus with energy 136.4 kilo electron volt has nuclear spin 5 by 2, the excited Fe57 nucleus with energy 14.4 kilo electron volt has nuclear spin 3 by 2. On the other hand, the ground state Fe57 nucleus has nuclear spin 1 by 2. Nuclear spin is represented by I. Self assessment. Now a question will appear before you and try to Solve it by pausing the video within 3 minutes. Calculate the frequency of gamma ray emitted from the excited Fe57 nucleus with energy 14.4 kilo electron volt. It means excited Fe57 nucleus having energy 14.4 kilo electron volt emits gamma radiation and comes back to the ground state. Then calculate the frequency of gamma radiation. Please try to solve this problem within 3 minutes after pausing the video.
here is the solution of this problem 14.4 kilo electron volt equals to 14.4 into 10 to power 3 electron volt kilo kilo means 10 to power 3 and it is equal to 14.4 into 10 to power 3 into 1.602 into 10 to power minus 90 joule please note that one electron volt equals to 1.602 into 10 to power minus 19 joule and on solving we get it equal to 23.0688 into 10 to power minus 16 joule this is the energy of fe 57 nucleus equal to 14.4 kilo electron volt the energy of gamma radiation is given by Planck's equation h nu where h is Planck's constant and the energy of gamma radiation is equal to 23.688 into 10 to power minus 16 joule where it has been obtained after calculation the value of Planck's constant is 6.626 into 10 to power minus 34 joule second and nu is the frequency of gamma radiation on solving this equation the frequency of gamma radiation comes to be 3.5 into 10 to the power 18 per second this is our desired frequency which was of, to be obtained after solving the problem this is the frequency of gamma radiation if a ground state fe57 nucleus is placed in gamma radiation emitted by excited fe57 nucleus having energy 14.4 kilo electron volt it is expected to be excited to 14.4 kilo electron volt energy level by absorbing gamma radiation this is excited nucleus with energy 14.4 kilo electron volt it emits excess energy that is 14.4 kilo electron volt in the form of gamma ray and comes to the ground state this process is called de-excitation the nucleus undergoes transition from i equals to 3 by 2 level to i equals to 1 by 2 level by emitting gamma radiation with energy 14.4 kiloton volt if a ground state fe57 nucleus is present nearby it this energy can be utilized for the excitation of this ground state nucleus to excited state that is from i equals to 1 by 2 to 3 by 2 this process is called excitation and it is called de-excitation the amount of energy involved in de-excitation is equal to the amount of energy involved in excitation and it appears to be it appears that the resonance capture process will take place quite easily but actually this does not happen so it will be discussed in the next video thank you for watching with patience please like subscribe and share